taking a little bit of stress as you try to get your house clean and ready. You do the cooking, even setting the table, especially if you have a big long table with a lot of people. But parents can and should get help from their kids. And registered dietitian Amy Reed is here with her sons, Cole and Grant, to explain why getting the whole family involved, especially kids with Thanksgiving, can have lasting effects on kids eating healthier. Good to see you Hi, all, Paul, yeah. Grant, Amy, so good to see you. So uh, why is it important for the kids to well, not just help with the table, well, but for, the cooking and all yeah. of that? Well, for one, it teaches them a life skill. Mm -hmm. Whether it's setting the table, whether it's making something, kids are going to need to feed themselves someday, and the parents are not always going to be there to make <laughs> good food point. for them. <laughs> and two, some kids are very nervous around food, especially if they're picky eaters. So something like setting the table is a good way to get them involved without like make, getting them overwhelmed with food. Okay. So those are a couple of good reasons. And you pit, you brought in a couple of demonstrations yeah. for us. So we're, first, we're going to set our table. Yes. Yeah, so Grant's going to set help me set Grant. the table. Do so, you do this okay. at home, Grant? Do you help your mom? Mm, sometimes. 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 Yeah. <laughs> what do you help her with? What do you um, help me with? Cleaning the dish. What, the plates? The getting the plates off the table. That's nice. So he's, he just did a simple table setting here, and I'm going to turn it around for the viewers to see. So this is just our basic table setting. Mm -hmm. So the fork, this would just be if you're just having one fork, a knife, and a spoon. If you're right. going to have a salad, you usually want to put the salad fork to the left. Right. And then if you need like a second spoon for maybe a soup appetizer, you would put that over here. Um, or if you're going to have a dessert with a spoon, you would put it at the top of the plate. Very good. Um, and the big thing you want to teach your kids, because this is actually a life skill. If your child's getting ready to go out into the world and do a job interview, <laughs> yes. they, they need to know. Because which they <laughs> utensil is for which thing. So That's right. So you work from the outside in. The glass usually goes at the tip of the knife. You always want the blade to face up there. Usually a coffee cup is either going to be up here or over here to the side. To the right, yeah. right? Yeah, to okay. the right. And then usually like a bread plate or something like that is there. Mm -hmm. The big thing, the napkin, a lot of people don't realize this, when you have a napkin, can usually you put it to the left of the fork and you want the loose edges to be out oh, okay. because when that happens you grab your napkin oh i didn't know and that it about is the edges, ready Amy. to go right in your lap very good you so. taught me something too <laughs> now you're not going to have you know a lot of kids yeah. in there with the hot oven yeah. and all that stuff going but you do have something that kids can yeah. help with that's a nice healthy dessert yeah. now right? he does um, do the uh, cooking and stuff on the you stage. do yeah he does he what, do you, what do you like to cook uh, I like to cook like um, you do sautéed mushrooms. I do sautéed mushrooms and like I do quesadillas. I do quesadillas and stuff. Very like that. good. Mm -hmm. My son likes to scramble eggs. That's one yes. of one of the way. <laughs> pancakes and scrambled eggs. Okay, so, so Cole's gonna do a fruit cornucopia for you. So we just I'll start with a fruit. sugar cone. That's a waffle cone nice. because that looks like the cornucopia. We have a mock up right here. So what are you doing? I'm honey? putting the raspberries in the in. And I'll put some grapes on top of that. And then I'm going to put it like this. Oops. Oh, you want to have a lot of color. And yeah. Then, right, and then, yeah. Yes. And then the fruit might spill out, but that's okay because cornucopia is the fruit's usually right. spilling out. And stuff. <laughs> so then do you put the, the yogurt in last? And then you can put the yogurt like right here. We use it as a topping, but some people oh, may yeah. want to layer it. Um, we like use it as a that. topping. Okay. And then you can take some pomegranate seeds oh, good and sprinkle deal. it across like that. And sometimes, this time of year, I think pomegranate <laughs> seeds are so beautiful mm -hmm. to use. And I think kids either have a love-hate relationship. I have a right. lover of pomegranate seeds and a not so much okay. a lover of pomegranate seeds. Well, <laughs> but you found something that was fun yeah. and healthy and it, and it fulfills the sweet tooth. Yeah. Maybe then they can have the pumpkin pie after that. <laughs> Thank you so much, You're Amy welcome. and Cole and Grant. That was wonderful. You did a great job. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food, guys? Uh, I don't know. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes, <laughs> yeah. How about you, Grant? Pumpkin pie. <laughs> Me too. Thank you so much. Thank Happy you. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> we'll be right back.